out on another camp, meeting up with my brother, TJ Wildness. He's already in the woods set up, so I'm off to meet him. Found Tom. There he is. Hello. He's got his hammock. Let's have a look at his. He's been here for what, about an hour or something. Tom's hammock. What hammock is that? It's a. It's only a cheap Amazon. Cheap uh, hammock. Nature fun. Nature fun. And he's got his cobwebby. Camo, which is that to kind of cool? It blends in with all the like rotted leaves on the ground, I think. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So he's got that, and he's got under quilt and everything. And I'm over here. We're gonna be sitting over there tonight. I don't know to have my hammock here or across these two. Last time I was here, a deer walked along there. Kind of cool. This is my 120 litre bag. Right, and the things I've got in that, at the bottom is my waterproofs and then it's a jumper, a sleep mat, a little bag of food and there's like just string on the side, ties, ground sheet just to stand on there and then it's a hammock and this thing it's a torch and then it's a tarp and little bags of ties and first aid kit. No sleeping bag. Couldn't fill it in, but I've stashed one, hidden one in the woods, so I've just found that. It's a two-season bag. Hopefully I'll be all right. All set up. Got the 3x3 three three multi-cam tarp there. Diamond shape across the ridge line cheap hammock and again I reminded myself why I don't like hammock camping so much to carry such a pain in the arse and the uh, tops ripped up here my fault because I put these lines up a bit too high got in it pulled it and ripped it you got these arrow things just to spread it, and then now I've got two um, a two season sleeping bag and a one season bag, and an X ped mat, dark mat. And again, once you get in, everything has to fall out. But I don't want to moan too much, just being honest. I've um, done a hammock camp tonight because my brother's doing one over there, so I thought I'd match him. At the moment I got this up, but at night time I'll peg it down. Meant to get rain in the morning. Well, hopefully that'll be right. Hopefully there. It's quite a big hole in there, but no more. So that's me. It's really boggy around here. It's my bag. Looks a lot, but all I've got in there is um, a couple of bits of first aid kit a knife and a couple of little bits and pieces for a bag of water in it and stuff. So we've got this bench. Gotta fry up some spam later. I think I've got mashed potatoes so I'll use that pot. Raised bed now. This is our fireplace for tonight.
cheating. I just want to get it going. Using a fuel block. Birch bark. Oh, this does the job. Where the fires on go? I was going to do ham and mashed potatoes, but it's cool past nine, and I don't know if I could be bothered. So, what I'm going to do is to have this pot noodle. Eat that and then put my mug shot in them, fill out with hot water again. So that's my dinner for tonight. There is a two metal rods in there. I'm going to let this die down by trying to speed things up. Trusty pot noodle. So this is an uh, original curry. Not a great dinner, but you do. Grab his mug shot for anything.
good morning. Got the water on the go in here for coffee. Tom's up. Morning. Morning. <laughs> yeah, I had a bit of crap night's sleep last night. For some reason I keep reminding myself I don't like hammock camping. First of all, I've got a 120 litre bag and this set up without the sleeping bags. And that's just pretty much an empty bag there. Takes up the whole bag, and that's without a sleeping bag. I've got so much to carry, it's not lightweight at all. And um, I got in last night, it was quite warm, so I took my socks off and just laid on top of the sleeping bags. Quite simple. Um, I've done this hole, got a bit bigger, a little bit. Then I woke up cold, so I got in the bag. And then um, I woke up again needing a toilet. So I got out. And of course, everything has to throw itself out and onto the floor. The sleeping bag and bits and pieces just chucked itself out. Went to the toilet. Took about half an hour to get back in. I couldn't get back in my sleeping bags. So I'd sort of stand here and step into the sleeping bags, jumping up and down like a pogo stick and then wiggle back in but I kept sliding down and then the mat kept sliding up so I sort of hold on the hammock jump and try to throw myself back up and to be fair I probably could have done with lifting it a bit I don't know but yeah it was a nightmare and then the, the fall mat was up the side the seat mat was up here my head was probably about here curled up so yeah, right pain in the ass. Each to their own. You know, everyone has their own opinion, but I really don't like hammock camping. I think it's crap. If you had a tent, you just pitch your tent up on the floor, open the door, in and out, job done. So yeah. Oh, another thing I forgot to say is um, I actually fell out of this last night trying to adjust myself and before I sipped it up the whole thing decided to throw me on the floor. It's a pain in the ass. I think what I might do next time is maybe bring the hammock out but I have a tent next to it. I'm just chilling in the hammock because it is relaxing. Like when I woke up it's nice to listen to the Rain on the top, laying down in the hammock. No good for sleeping in. Two and one coffee. As you can see, the thing just wants to jump out. Pain in the ass. I was say, uh, I like the hammock relaxing in, in daytime, but not for sleeping. All this falling out and yourself falling out, the thing sliding about. Pain in the ass. That's my little moment. All packed away, that's where I had my hammock in this huge bag. So I'll do a little talk through this. My tripod, waterproofs at the bottom, and torch in there, and bog roll, ground sheet in there, <laughs> wet socks in there, and I've got mozzie spray in there, first aid kit. 
and in the big compartment which goes down to here I've got a jumper um, cup plate sleeping mat which probably takes up about that much and pillow so small and then the toys the ropes and things then hammock and then on the top is the tarp that takes up all that no sleeping bag so yeah hammock camping definitely isn't lightweight well that was an interesting one <laughs> so um, I say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time Okay, cheers, bye. Also, check the link down below. I've put a link if you like to donate anything. It'd be much appreciated. If I do get anything, it just helps to keep the watermark on the fridge away. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and like and share and all that jazz. Cheers. See you on the next one.